I'm really happy to be here today. I want to thank a couple of people. Nita, I want to thank you for finding a way to make this happen in, in the library. And I want to thank um, Levine Music for you know facilitating all this work. It's, it's really great to make these kind of events possible. And I know that I'm going to see at some point council members Mink and Jawando, I believe. Okay. All right, but council member Stewart's there. All right. So there's a number of, you know, the county government is kind of unified in supporting multicultural diverse events in this county. So it's, this is not a unique one-off thing. And uh, it's something that everybody, you know, recognizes as part of the county's culture and kind of part of our DNA. Um, I want to thank the Mid-Atlantic Scratch League. Who knew there was a Scratch League? Um, <laughs> for providing the DJs uh, for, the, for this event. And, uh, you know, the library is a really important thing. And it's great to see this in a library because libraries have become purveyors of culture for everybody. And when I was a kid, the only thing in a library, the only thing in a library were books and then magazines. And then it was records. And then it was CDs. Then it was VHS tapes. And then it was DVDs. Um, they basically have, you know, played a big role in, you know, being a center of culture and making it available to people who could not afford to buy the CDs or buy the, you know, VHSs. Um, so they, they really continue to play an important role in Montgomery County, and it's great to see this. And we actually spend money to make sure that we keep our collections up to date and we get this information out to people. Um, myself, I'm like a long lover of music. I started playing in a band probably when I was 14 or 15 years old. Somewhere in my collection is the one-sided vinyl demo we did of an album. Um, and so music's like really, you know, deep and close to me. I've, I've always, uh, I still go to concerts all the time. You know, last year I went up, I took a train to Philadelphia to see Van Morrison and flew to Toronto to see the Eagles. So... <laughs> Because I was getting out of COVID, <laughs> and I had concerts to make up for, so I made sure I could get out and do, and do something that, that entertained me. And it's really, you know, I'm happy to be here today, happy to see all the folks who've made this thing possible for everybody. And it's great to know there are folks on the other two floors here. I was looking for my friend who is Chip Pye, who some of you may know is just an amazing photographer, was a, a photographer of this scene, and he's, you know, been... You know, his, his artwork, his photography is being featured in D.C. in the museum, and it's just incredible that he's kind of cataloged. He knew Chuck Brown. He used to be backstage with Chuck Brown. So his, his photo collection is absolutely amazing, probably unrivaled by anybody around. So it's great to see all this here, and it's great to see all of you come out, and it's the 50th anniversary of the music, and that's not an insignificant thing. Uh, so I'm just... Thank you for inviting me, and uh, I'm going to listen to a little of the scratch-off, I guess, and I'm going to go and visit the other floors. Thank you, Thank you so much, CE.